Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, the Piddlemouth Coast series. I'm Joe and today you find us sat here at our little freight station. Freight station? It's not a freight hub, is it? Definitely not a freight hub. It's one of our two grain freight stations. This train is fully loading, about to make a return journey back to deliver the grain off to our food processing plant over at North Kiltown. And what I have noticed is that it's leaving things behind. So what we might need to do, because uh, if we have a look over here, I think it's very much a similar story. They can only carry 180, and that's got 261 waiting. So what we might need to do first of all today is, uh, is to actually get some loop lines on and maybe shove a few more freight trains down there. We'll, uh, we'll just repay most of that loan. There we go, 50 uh, to 50 million. That's, that's absolutely fine. Uh, but yeah, I think we could do with a loop line in here, you know, because uh, if we don't want grain being lost, do we? Uh, what did I actually say that we'd done the speed limits on this uh, on this track at? That is a land use layer. That's not going to help us. Track speed, 50. Right, well, let's uh, let's get a bit more of that then, please. And uh, we don't need any catenary. We'll just uh, we'll just pop you in. Pop you in there. Can we keep you at 50? If we can, that would be lovely. It's not going to work, is it? We'll uh, we'll have some 30. There we go, and it can go around the outside. And then we'll squash it back in with a bit more 30. I know it's not ideal, is it really? But for the purpose of this, it will do. And is that looking relatively... There we go. It, we just need it long enough, basically, so that... Uh, the trains can pass each other. Should we have a? Uh, we'll have a, a one-way signal there, and then a signal there. That'll do. Right. Where's the depot? Let's. Uh, what line is that? So that's North Kiltown Grain Train Two. Uh, so where are we? North Kiltown Grain Train Two. We're probably going to need more money here, aren't we? All that money you've just paid back, you're going to need to borrow again. Uh, I can't remember to tell you the truth how much it costs for uh, for a class 37. So we shall see. Grand Train 2. Let's clone it and see what happens. Well, it's uh, it's there, and it's on the way. So uh, yeah, let's let's pop a a loop in up here. Uh, should we do the same again? 30 mile an hour. I think we'll come off this side this time. There we go. And uh, we'll get a bit of 50, maybe 45. 45 will do. So there. Can we keep you at 45? I'd be happy if we could, but we can't. So we'll go with 35. That'll do. There we go. Bit of one-way action. And a bit of one-way action there. Lovely. Lovely. Right. And uh, let's get another train on. North Kiltown, Grain Train 1, I'm assuming it is. Nope, not enough money. Are you going to tell us how much money we actually need? It would appear not. North Kiltown, Grain Train 1. Clone. There we go. It's on the way. So you've got nothing in, are you? Or have you? You're just performing a, uh, a turnaround. Okie dokie, so if we're delivering more grain, then that's obviously meaning that we're producing more food. Um, we could maybe do with some more food trucks on there, to be honest with you. I mean, you've just gone. Where's the other one? You're not there, are you? Uh, right, okay. Manage vehicles. Let's uh, let's have three more. Not enough money. Two more? Nope. One more. Oh, we can just about stomach one more then. Oh, well, that's good news, isn't it? Uh, so I've also got some exciting things to show you what I've been doing in North Kiltam. So I've uh, I've put this road here, in uh, which looks like a man, doesn't it, with like huge arms. It doesn't, it just looks like a road. Stop being silly. Uh, but yes, I've put this extra bit of road in because I'm trying to encourage growth over this side. It doesn't appear to be working, um, but I'm sure in all, in good time, it'll, uh, it'll start expanding. I've also made this a dual carriageway road, or a two lane road, all the way up there and uh, put a two-lane road all the way up here. Now, because this is like the main centre road, uh, I put a 
quite a frequent bus service down it. Put some bus lanes in, look, there you go, so we can manipulate what lane the buses are meant to be in. But yeah, there we go, bendy buses all the way down. Uh, hang on, I've just realised I've not got the date on. There we go, I've got it paused. All the way down here with like a really high frequency connection down the centre of town. And, uh, and they seem to be bringing a lot of people. I mean, how many have you got on? 13 out of 21, which is good, we've not got overcrowding yet. These buses are looking absolutely exhausted. I don't know, uh, I mean, let's have a look. Condition, very bad, excellent. Um, what we might need to do then, if the condition is that bad. Um, right, let's have a look. The, the vehicle menu. Oh, we've got a Leyland Olympian. Well, that's good news. Uh, right, North Killtown Bus 1. Uh, we shall replace you. One, two, three, four. I think we'll replace you with the new Leyland Olympians. Should we have you in the Ribble livery? Ah, we'll just have you in white. Ribble? White? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I say we're going to replace it. We can't actually afford to replace it. There we go. Borrow a bit more. Are they going to replace? Is it going to crash the game? It's always a, you know, it's always a bit of a will it, won't it with this, isn't it? In your own time. There we go. Ah, so there we go. There is a spectacular Leyland Olympian. Doesn't it look pretty? Suits it, doesn't it? I mean, we're still running some of the old Sauras alongside because uh, I added some more buses to this route. Yeah, I added some more buses. Let's have a look. Can we see any of the other ones? Oh, there's another Leyland there. It's good that it can carry 20 people, though, because this is quite a high... Now, there we go. We've got a Bendy bus on there. And uh, two of the Sauras. Are they called Sauras? I think they are, aren't they? I mean, it begs the question, do we need such a high-frequency service? I mean, what is... Because uh, we, we had loads and loads of passengers waiting here. This is why... Uh, this is why I put so many buses on. But it might be a case, now we've updated them to Leyland, uh, Leyland Olympians, we might not actually need... Might not actually need the same volume of traffic. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go on the book, we'll sell the two... There we go, go to a depot and sell. And uh, where's the other one? There it is. Yep, go to the depot and sell upon arrival. So we'll just have six buses, the uh, the double-deckers and the two bendy buses. So that's quite nice, isn't it? It's like two of the bendy buses have escaped off this route onto, uh, you know, onto a different one. Oh, I think that person's just been run over. Frederick Scott has just been run over by a Leyland Olympian. Driving like a madman. Okie dokie, so that's, uh, that's filling you in on what's been going on in North Killtown. Uh, I have also, last time we put some buses in, didn't we, in Puddle Bridge? Uh, things seem to be going quite well with that. That train's absolutely packed. Is there, uh, is there actually any more grain train? That's going fully loaded. Oh, and the empty ones are coming all the way up now, aren't they? That's, uh, that's good. We've got 185 waiting. And there's another one coming up there. You've got 195. So that's actually really, really good, isn't it? Because... The train is, uh, I mean, I could have just changed it and put a longer train on. Instead of having two little trains. But that would mean making the station platforms longer. And that would be, that would be a lot of effort. Over here we've got, uh, we've got, what's going on there? A lot of food needed for four brief food trucks. I mean, that's, that's these ones, isn't it? Yeah, four brief food trucks. Well, what we'll do, oh, there's only three of you, that's why. Well, we'll double the amount. You'll be coming out of there, won't you? Forbury's doing incredibly well. I mean, if you look at the station, there's not actually that many waiting. Has the train just gone? There you go, you see. I'm, I'm particularly proud of this area of the map. I, I do like that. Uh, so, basically, what are we going to be doing today? Because we've, we've done a, a very good recap. We've done quite a long recap, quite a lengthy recap. What I would like to do 
is build from Forbury, kind of. I mean, they, I've, I've kind of decided that the main route is going to continue Forbury, Market Norwald style quarried to Faircombe across Great. You know, it's going to stick to this side of the map and it might go to Tam Vale or it might bend round here and go kind of that way. I've not yet decided. In fact, I think that's more likely what it's going to do. But it would be nice to get a line coming round here to Avonpool and Pensto by sea. You know, that, that, that would be a very pretty route, wouldn't it? And uh, there's some big communities here that obviously need connecting up. We could, how could we sling a railway down there? We'll work it out when we get there, of course. So uh, I thought that was what we could kind of look at doing. Now, I don't think that we're gonna get trains running in, uh, in this episode down all the way there because simply how much it costs it's such an expense, and I don't think that we've got... I don't think the bank will loan us enough money. Uh, so, shall we have... Was it 160? Is that what we go with? Yeah, it's 160, isn't it? Right, okie dokie. Where are we? Avon Bridge. We'll have a small station. Two platforms. High speed, no wires. Can we have an overpass? I, I do like the overpass bridges that come uh, come with this. There we go. And can we have the same again? I reckon we could have like some sort of dollish kind of a deal going on here. What about medium? Can you connect there without demolishing the buildings? You can't. What? What's that? Oh, it's a Tesco. Ah, oh, how lovely. Don't remember downloading a Tesco, but obviously I did. So if we pop you there... Tesco's is going to have to go. Well, that's unfortunate. But we can uh, we can use the tracks there and demolish some houses. I didn't want to do that really. There we go. I mean, I think everything down here is going to stop unless we. Oh, why has it done that? I do. This is why I don't build level crossings. I, I truly, you see, it, it, it goes all the way up there. Why, why do you elevate? Just, just build at the same level, please. There we go. Done. And done. I think that looks very pretty. You know, we'll have a nice, nice kind of a, a sea front. I mean, we could stay along the sea front because that, that is not having to go uphill then, is it? But that would be quite a wiggly way around. We could go like that, I guess. Oh, we'll cross that bridge. Cross that bridge. Um, so, let's... Uh, are we sticking with 75? I think 75's alright. It's not a high-speed route, this, is it? It's just a regional. We'll bend around there. I mean, that is going to give passengers an absolutely excellent view, isn't it? And railway staff alike to drive that route. Lovely. I bet it's going to be one of the favourite ones to be worked at the depots. We're going to just go uphill a little bit so we can we can kind of forge a bridge further on up the line. Because if you're too close, if you're too far down, it looks a bit weird, doesn't it? There we go. We'll, we'll follow the tree line if we can. There we go. Up there. Can we... Can we what, what's that looking like? So that's looking good. We're a lot higher, aren't we? Um, right, okay. Um, are you going to keep 56 if I change the type of viaduct? Nope, you're going to go for 60. That bridge is horrendous. Why is that even a thing? What about that? 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 Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Right, well, we'll go with 60 over the bridge then. Because I feel like, you know, that, that's what we need. There we go. Is, is that looking about right? That's looking good. There are a lot of, like, scenic, nice bridges, aren't there, on this game? Or this particular map. There's a lot of opportunities. Can we... Oh, wait, now that would be nice.
What about that? Can you can you give me some of that? Nope. Okay. Let's uh, let's adjust the terrain. That looks horrendous. It looks like uh, looks like the landscape's got boils. Um, right. Okay. Nope. I want you flat. Flat. There we go. That'll do. Right. Bring you round as well. And then we'll bring the road over the top and smooth everything. Although I've just realised we need to kind of go upwards, don't we? Oh, never mind. Right. Okie dokie. So, we need roads. Roads, 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 roads. Are you a small road? I think you are, aren't you? There we go. Bring you to there. And then there. Lovely. I like that. Straight over the viaduct, into a tunnel. Don't know where we're going to go from there, but uh, I think we'll we'll bend right around. 60 is very slow, isn't it, really? But we'll, uh, we'll kind of tunnel around there. That can be the last of the 60, and then we'll increase to 75 again. There we go. So we're only... We're only... Uh, we're only 60 in that bit there. Have we, have we got that linked up? Yeah, we have. Right, okie dokie. And then we need to climb up here. And go all the way to the station, don't we? Right, okie dokie. It's quite a steep incline, that one. Uh, okie dokie, straight across. I think we're going to delete that road and have a bridge. Or a tunnel. Uh, but we're, we're certainly not having a level crossing. Because I don't like it. I think that that's a one-off level crossing that we've got there in uh, in I can't remember what the town's called. Right, let's have a look. Can we can we get like sixty out of here? We can. We can just about get sixty. Sixty's fine. I mean, it's going to be slowing down to stop there anyway, because I think everything down here is going to stop everywhere. I don't think we're going to have express services. I mean, we don't need them, do we really? And I think that that is a pretty good looking line. I think that's a very good looking line. Now, the next question, how the hell are we going to get over there? Um, oh, ooh, good question. Uh, are we going to go over the top? I think that might be the way we have to go, you know. I'm kind of down. I mean, logic would dictate the real railway would go like that. Yeah, sensible. Uh, it's very sensible, except we do not have thirty-five million pounds per track, uh, so that that may be a limitation on this one. Uh, ooh. All of a sudden, I'm not happy. Uh, right, so hundred mile an hour track. What's that gonna look like? Like a feat of engineering excellence is the answer to that one. There we go. That is going to look brilliant. I mean, it's it's going to look even better when it's not a wooden bridge. But across that bay, I'm sure there'll be like loads of environmentalists that'll be complaining. But if we get the correct... Oh, now look at that. That's... Uh, ooh, that is looking very nice. Oh, I like that. More 104s. Do we need more 104s? Have we not got enough? That is looking... That's looking very good. And and when you're down here to see trains kind of flying across up there, that's... Ooh. We're having it. I mean, look, it's, it's more or less a straight line, look. Pretty. I mean, that is... It's nice. It's nice. It's well, perhaps it's a bit of an eyesore. It's not very in keeping with the local area, is it? Maybe I should have used a viaduct like that. But never mind. What's done is done. So this is going to go shooting off that way. You're going to go through the trees, aren't you? Whereas our little branch line route is going to come off and go down this way. So I reckon. Do you, do you reckon we can go across this at 60? I reckon we can. There we go. 60 miles an hour and round. We'll have kind of like the 
the kind of junction which this is going to be just known as the junction that throws conductors off their feet you know because you kind of go one back round you know there's, there's a few junctions like that that we have on our network and uh, I always seem to uh, almost end up sat on someone's knee right 75 let's uh, let's see what you have to offer uh, we'll go through the trees a very very pretty line isn't it well, it will be we'll keep it straight keep it as straight as we can and we'll uh, ooh. do I want a bridge across there the answer is probably not I'd rather uh, if we can I'd rather have uh, a bit of that just a raised embankment will do so we can uh, you know we can sit up here and just um, admire the view I don't think we need a, yeah we certainly don't need a bridge there do we right let's uh, yeah the environmentalists will not be happy with us but railways are good you know they take cars off the road and, and they look after the planet I mean we're gonna use trains that belch diesel out but uh, but you know Cross that bridge. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll deal with that issue later on in the game. We are climbing, aren't we? Because we're kind of, yeah, that's that's kind of where we're looking to go. Go round to the left. Bit of a tunnel there. I don't know if I wanted a tunnel there, but I mean, it'll do. It'll do. Right. So we could tunnel there. That's that's an acceptable tunnel, isn't it? I mean, hmm, is it? Yeah, of course it is. I didn't really want to do too much tunneling. I thought, you know, like a, an over the hill kind of scenic route. But I mean, at least it gets us under that road, doesn't it? Right, let's have a look. So we need you to be on the automatic, go down as steep as possible, because this is quite a steep hill. Although it seems to be managing. I didn't think it would, but it does seem to be managing. There we go, bring you round. Just like that. And then we need to kind of go across the landscape. Like that. What's that looking like? Oh, that's that's looking a bit lumpy, isn't it? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's not a main line, so of course it's allowed to look lumpy. Lumpy lines are the best. It shows they were built by man and not machine. Uh, although, to be fair, some machine lines look quite lumpy, don't they? Right, that's going to give us another tunnel. But that's fine, because it looks like we've tunnelled under the trees, because we care about the environment. We do. Like you see, responsible builder. I mean, we've had to demolish some trees, but, you know, you've, you've got to break some eggs. Oh, look at that. It's almost as if I planned that. I promise you, I didn't. Just disappearing into the... Oh, that, that's a... Uh, that's that's good looking. It's ooh, yeah, right. So we've got that section in. We've actually built all the way down here. I didn't think we'd get this uh, this far on our money, but apparently we have. So uh, right, let's uh, let's go for the last final uh, the final push. Now, who is where in this town? So the commercial area is actually on this end of town, which is good. So what we'll do is we'll go with buildings, and. 160 again no main building because we'll shove some uh, we'll, we'll shove a station building on the end of this right okie dokie why have I built it with a bridge we don't need a bridge if it's a uh, there we go get rid of the bridge uh, right canopy uh, nope that's not what I wanted platforms nope passenger buildings oh lovely what's this Station with elevated concourse. Yeah, it doesn't really fit with, you know, the kind of dynamic we've got going on there, does it? What about a little British brown station? Or oh, blue. Blue. Blue is nice. 
I still kind of feel the station building's a little bit big for, you know, the two platforms, but never mind. That'll do. Right, so that's fine. Some sort of bus terminus, you know, like a, a good bus terminus on the end. That's a truck station. Yeah, you, you need a bus terminus. Bus terminus. Hmm. I see the problem there. Well, we'll turn it round. Ah, problem solved. Just like that, you see. Uh, solving problems since 1996. Right, so we need to go over there somehow. Uh, and I'd like to avoid that field unless we're tunnelling under. Uh, bit of 20, 25 out of the station. Should we go that way? We're on a hill. Don't want a hill. I want it to be flat for my junction. There we go. Bit of that. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Uh, Mr. Stag. Uh, we need to build through here, and you are in the way. That'll do, won't it? That's nice. Uh, and then we'll keep you round there. And bring a bit of that across. I, I, I said we'll, we'll bring... Nope. Not having it. Not loving it. We'll try from the other direction. There we go. That's fine, isn't it? So uh, that could eventually end up being like some sort of fast link up to style cod and then following, you know, so we've got like a break off of the main line. And then this is like a little branch going around the other way. Right, so we'll have you as 30. And we'll break you off at 30. There we go. Can we, can we go straight to 75? Of course we can. So we'll go around like that. And we'll just go underneath Farmer Alves Fields. I think that's going to that's gonna do as well. But where are we aiming for? We're aiming in the right direction, aren't we? And we've got enough money, because uh, the, the money seems to be coming in quicker. I've not got it on fast forward mode, have I? Uh, but the money seems to be coming in a lot quicker than what we're spending it, which is always a good one. Uh, it's nice to get to that stage in the game. Can we bridge across there? That's quite pretty, isn't it? Very pretty, in fact. Um, you know, but we, we could do that. Bit of straight lineage there. What bridges have we got to our disposal? I like that arch one. Like that, but not that one. Uh, that's nice. Ooh, that's very nice as well. That's even better. That's the one. And the shadows as well that we've got really just work. I mean, look at that. That's just... If we, if we look at it, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's going to give us the opportunity for some cracking screenshots, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's go around here. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll drop down. Can we, can we drop down? There we go. And uh, the reason we'll drop down is so that obviously we're at coastal height. Because we're, you know, we're running out of... No, well, uh, right, we perhaps didn't need to drop down that far, did we? But what we'll do, we'll go over that lump. Round the trees, because I've just realised that I've built heading towards the trees, but we'll, uh, we'll go round there. And then we want to be on this side of the road. Okie dokie. Right, uh, build you round there. And it gives us the opportunity as well to bung some freight in here as well. Because look, there's, there's the oil there. Uh, it's not an oil refinery, is it? That one? No, it's an oil well. So we can also have some, you know, some mixed traffic down this line. We love a bit of mixed traffic, don't we? Uh, right, you can go there. Are you going to build a stupid level crossing? No, you appear to have built level. A level level crossing? Who'd have thought it? Right, that's annoying. You built that. I didn't want you to. Go away. There we go. Build you straight out that way. Lovely. Oh, that's, that's just stunning. 
that level crossing really does look good there, doesn't it? We've got barriers as well. We go all the way down. So that is our route to Pensto by sea. Right, okay. So I think oh, we'll just have that. Just have a bit of that. There we go. Uh, right, okay. We'll, uh, we'll just shove some signalling in kind of haphazardly. Bit of that there. You know, we, we don't want... Tr it's not going to be a really busy line, is it? I wouldn't have thought it would be anyway. I mean, we've got a lot of opportunity for freight. But we'll uh, if we need to put more signal in when we do freight, we will do. But I, I kind of didn't envisage too many passenger trains down here. Just as many as we need. Right, there we go. And we'll uh, we'll have a, a four aspect there, and there, and there. Should we only have one train on the bridge at once? Uh, I don't like that idea. Nope, that's not good. We'll do it like that. There we go. Oh, there's uh, there's forty sevens, forty sevens and new. And we'll uh, we'll stick a bit of that in there. There we go. So we've got enough signals. What we could do is uh, should we should we basically have that terminating at Fordbury? We could have it terminating at Fordbury, or if we wanted to be really saucy, we could have it going up to Puddle Bridge. Could we do that? That oh, I don't know. We'll have it terminating at Fordbury for now. And if the worst comes to the worst because I mean we seem to be coping don't we with the I mean look there's 133 people waiting yeah we, we seem to be coping with the transmat regional so competition would just it would just be for the sake of competition wouldn't it so uh, yeah let's uh, let's get something on that line should we go with uh, we'll go with platform three so Thorbury down to Avonbridge down to Avonpool and down to Penstow by C. There we go. Oh, and it's the black line as well. Looks very sleek, doesn't it? Around here. And everybody is happy with that. So this will be the uh, Penstow, uh, the Fordbury Penstow Regional. I think, because uh, this is a regional service, isn't it? You know, it's not a branch line. It's quite a regional, you know, we've got quite a distance there covered. It's not just a little. I mean, I was thinking we could have made that go through Forbury and up to Grange Manor. We could do that. We could do that, to be honest with you. Get rid of the Grange Manor kind of little shuttle service. And just have the Grange Manor all the way through. That would be a good idea. But, uh, hey, ho. Oh. Right. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we will. I don't know. Uh, let, let me know in the comments, where should we send this? You know, should we should we send it as like an express all the way up to North Killtown or Piddlemouth or, you know, some one of these places? Or should we attach it onto Grange Manor? Or should we simply do nothing and leave it here? I mean, it is going to go in platform two, but if, you know, because of the depot. Right. Okie dokie. So, multiple units, diesel, because it's going to be diesel, of course. We're going to use a 104 again. Although that would be good. That's got more hill climbing ability. Well, we'll have you because it's a hilly route, isn't it? You can fit 45 on. How many trains do you reckon we'll need? Um, well, we can afford two at the moment. Ah, we can afford more when we borrow more money. We're, we're literally going to max out our, uh, our Virgin Money credit card here. Oh, we can't afford six. That's annoying. I wanted six. We'll have four. The, uh, ooh, right, okay. The, the Fordbury Pensto Regional. All of a sudden, things have got very loud. Right, so what we'll do, we'll, we'll change you onto platform two for now. There we go. It's quite a loud diesel train, isn't it? I'm loving the BR blue livery that we've got there. Really, it matches quite nice, doesn't it? I'm, I'm enjoying the fact things are things are nice and matched. 
so there we go. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let that run for a bit, and we'll get a nice little uh, kind of going out shot of it going over our gorgeous little bridge. Ooh, doors are open. People getting on. Yep. Ooh, that woman in the dress. She's like, oh no, hang on. I've just gone to platform three for the Grange. What you call it? Stop it. And it's not on three anymore. Oh, I think you've missed it there, love. Oh dear, never mind. Oh, there'll be another one in ten seconds. It's just coming out the depot now. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll, uh, we'll have a nice uh, a nice shot of it going out over the nice bridge. So, uh, there we are. That is... Uh, that's probably all we've got time for today on uh, our Piddlemouth Coast series. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then click that like button. It always is appreciated. And it helps the video get more views. So, you know, click the like button for me. Go on do it, you know you want to. And uh, if you haven't already and you're enjoying the Transport Fever 2 Piddlemouth Coast series, then make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any action. It's nice to be able to see the trucks down there, isn't it? And wow, that, that bridge was definitely a good purchase. Like I say, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Cheerio, and goodbye for now.